Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Sig MRI, and this is a patient who had no clinical symptoms. They came in just as a screening MRI of their whole body, and we saw this finding here that I guess is incidental in them, but um, it may be significant in other people. So on this view, we see the gallbladder. This is the stomach. Both uh, have a bright signal on the T2-weighted sequence here. This is the duodenum, the third portion is dilated over three centimeters here, and there's an abrupt change as it goes between the aorta and the SMA here. This is the SMA, this vertical band. Here's the abdominal aorta here. And when we get extrinsic compression um, and a distension, this can lead to SMA syndrome, which causes delayed emptying of the duodenum and even pain. And the uh, fluid can back up in the stomach and can cause belching, early satiety, abdominal pain, and weight loss. Extreme cases, it can even cause you know, fear, fear of food and uh, wasting. But in this patient, they're just asymptomatic. I've seen this several times where patients have no symptoms and a few times where they have had symptoms and have had to go on to surgery. But in this case, it's asymptomatic, and it looks like it's even transient. There's another view I'll show you here in a minute where it's not quite so distended. So in this view, we see that it is distended 3.6 centimeters, and there's an abrupt caliber change. It's distended here, and then when it goes to the fourth portion over here, it's not distended at all. So um, definitely getting pinched between the aorta and the SMA. We did another uh, axial sequence here, thin images, breath hold, to look at this again in more detail. So this is the view. Now we see it's not quite so distended. It's only about two centimeters, which is within normal limits. So we're peristalsing it, distended up on the other two sequences. Now in this view, there's yeah, a little over two centimeters, so we're gonna try to find the SMA and SMV. So this is the SMV, SMA here. And this is the duodenum, again, it's distended here. It has to go through this little space between the SMA and the aorta. You can see how tight that is, just down to nothing. So it's flattened and compressed, and it has transient distension with peristalsis here. But again, they were asymptomatic. Now, one other thing in this uh, patient, uh, so when the SMA angle is low, it'll parallel the aorta, and it's too close to the aorta. It can cause pinching of the duodenum, as we see in this patient. They can also get pinching of the left renal vein they call that nutcracker syndrome. So in this patient, here's the left renal vein coming across. And it should go right in between here. You can see how it's also compressed. So again, this patient did not have complaints. Uh, but uh, if they did, you'd say, well, this could be, you know, may predispose to nutcracker syndrome from this uh, compression of the left renal vein, which they have. And it can also cause SMA syndrome from compression of the duodenum. So interesting case, but uh, the patient is asymptomatic. And uh, thank you very much.